What is up, Rose Wisdom Ishkap Putin doing a VOD review of this Korean Singe player who's absolutely smurfing, tearing up the ladder. He has a 75% win rate on Singe and ranked currently. He is, according to many, many stat checking websites, the number one Singe in Korea currently. He has a 74% overall win rate on Singe. And hilariously enough, this game, he had 74% kill participation. Maybe it's a magic number, I'm not sure. But I wanted to highlight some of the interesting things that he's doing a bit differently than other mid laners, uh, other Singe mid players right now. Uh, the first big thing is he's doing Celerity and Water Walking in his runes instead of Celerity and Nimbus Cloaks. A lot of people actually like Celerity and Nimbus Cloak um, because they like the snap second reaction that you can get with your Nimbus Cloak to, to help dodge skill shots that your enemies are throwing out. However... It is not entirely uncommon to do celerity water walking. However, the, the big difference I'm noticing in his runes is he's actually going Relentless Hunter, which I'm a big fan of. I've advocated for this rune for a long time, but I also think that Ultimate Hunter, which is the standard Singed pick, is like just really, really good. Excuse me. Because the thing about Ultimate, uh, thing about Ultimate Hunter is that Singed is very, very alt reliant. And so having your ultimate up more is just really good. The the big thing here though is Relentless is not bad and it helps, it, it's probably part of what helps him, I haven't watched this yet, uh, what helps him get to pretty high KP. Now he started fling because they were they were um, attempting to invade but then they didn't actually so he backed off but I like what he used fling as to um, fling minions back away from Yasuo and then like have them in a safer spot to CS with. It would force Yasuo to walk across the wave to auto him and key him which would draw more creep aggro which is a quite a smart decision in having a uh, kind of not not the greatest level one ability, honestly, because poison is generally just a bit a bit better for farming and CSing and pushing and stuff like that. But fling level one, not bad. You can definitely do stuff with it versus melee champions. Um, another big thing I noticed here that he's doing very this is very different than most standard singed players in especially in mid lane. He's going a, a Doran shield start, which normally the idea is that you want to bounce the wave off of your tower and then push really hard to look for your realm. Uh, usually in Singed mid, you'll either go Boots Potion Start, or you'll do um, Doran's Ring Potion Start, or Dark Seal Potion Start. But we he went for Doran Shield here, and I'm assuming for just lane sustain, um, just not get poked down. He seems very, very conscious of not getting poked down. So here he's looking for a realm, doesn't find it, goes back to mid. Uh, the Doran Shield, I assume right here will come in handy, but I, I feel like the Freeze could be avoided with just your standard Tower Bounce strat that you do on mid Singed, but that's totally fine. I mean... Definitely, he has 877 health at level 2. I mean, it's very hard to poke him down here. Um, especially with the Durans. I mean, it might it might minimize the amount of times he has to go back to base and things like that. He's being very careful to not get poked in the first place, though, which is good. Only down 3 CS. Lipman's looking for a roam towards bot lane right here. He is taking the Ghost Flash Summoner spell set up. Uh, let's see if he can get him. Oh, yeah, the enemy bot lane overextended hard. This should be some kills for, kills for our Singed boy here. I like the uh, flash. It might have been a little bit too soon, but he gets her very nice. Hecarim shows up. Oh, man. hey, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. He played it well. Let's go. Very good. He did that. He did, he did that pretty well. He knew the Hecarim was coming down. He was watching his map very intently. So, using his summoners to go for that play. I like it. Um, we do have to be aware going into next patch that teleport is getting a big buff that's going to be unleashed at 10 minutes instead of 14. Um, so ghost flash singe, while it is very, very good, uh, ghost TP singe or TP flash singe will actually be a lot better next patch as well. Which I'm, I'm a big TP enjoyer, I like the macro a lot, but I also have played ghost flash in the past. It's very fun, it's it's very nice to be able to have both of your mobility summoners and then just be able to move around a team fight, right, and just navigate. It is good. Uh, here's one thing that we really don't see a lot of singe mid players doing, is rushing tabbies. Uh, rushing tabbies over swifties and generally in singe mid you really like swifty boots on singe because you like to be able to move around the map more which is part of the uh, the reason why you take the boots uh, alongside things like uh, celerity and sometimes water walking because you like to have map movement right but he went tabby and I think that he this this player um, seems to be very focused on just like having a safer lane which I mean most singe players generally play a lot a lot riskier but I mean he's he has a 74% win rate he's doing something right so I, I I think it's a uh, one of my one of my guiding philosophies as a player uh, of League of Legends and as a singe as a singe student is that I always 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 play the game with the one second oh they're gonna find this gank here well let me take that uh, item screen off well, um I always 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 play with the okay decent flank do they get him no they do not rip 
I always play with the um, mindset that there's always something you can learn from a different a different player, even if you think that you know everything. Um, and some of the best ideas that I've ever had to like innovate innovate on Singed have come from players who like statistically, even if they're in like gold, silver, platinum, who might be much, much, much lower elo than me. Let me uh, take the HUD scale down just a bit. Even if statistically they were in much, much lower elo than me, Pops is uh, doesn't have predator actually uses it for the mid lane gank using his sweeper here to uh, identify a ward. He's not actually going to clear the whole thing. He's just going to identify it for them, which is very interesting. Um, some of the best ideas I've ever had about innovating Singed have come from players who are much lower elo than me. And like I, I, I don't think that just be someone being in a lower rank means that their ideas are not worth it, right? Uh, being a good League of Legends player is more about just more than just your rank. Like, yeah, your rank is the most direct way to show your level of skill, but it's not the only way, right? Um, your ability to innovate and come up with new ideas, especially as a one trick, I think is very important. So, while I always love to see people trying new things on Singed, especially whenever it gets them to very high rank ranks, I mean, I think it's just a it's just a fun time. Like, especially as a one trick, you have to you have to be ready to innovate. I don't think that you can lock yourself in a box like. Uh, mentally whenever you're playing only one champion because you have to kind of be a bit creative to tackle different situations and turns out Singe is just a very good champion at tackling different situations in my opinion he's very versatile uh, Matt Recall he did get a Ruby Crystal again it's just like kind of going with this theme of he's he's trying to play the early game a lot safer than normal um, on mid Singe. Mid Singe is generally really feast or famine but he's playing it much more as like a traditional laner he's not really worried about roaming as much like he's he's made some roams but um, He's he's really like making sure to focus on his lane as well. Like it's good, and the roam that he did make was very effective. He got two kills in bot lane, so definitely, uh, definitely nothing nothing bad so far. The Doran shield actually seems to be doing pretty well for him too. Like he's he's laning pretty solid here. He's he's taking some Qs and autos and the Yasuo, but he's not really putting himself at a dangerous little amount of health, which is nice. I'll put his pulls runes back up for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I I think it does go to show how how far just like solid standard laning actually can get you, because there's a reason why people like follow certain principles of laning. Oh, he's waiting to fling him out of his uh out of his ult or away from his Q for ult. Nice. All right. Yeah, that was a good hold on the fling. I actually like that quite a bit. He did he did quite well there. Um, but yeah, I think it goes to show like just how how far and how how stable and important having solid fundamentals are and having a solid lane is like if you just don't die you know what i mean like if you just don't die especially not for free you're gonna win so many more games in the long run as a league of legends player and there's like there is definitely importance to playing risky and playing um at the at the knife's edge and making sure that you're always limit testing there is value to that don't get me wrong and that that is important to learn as a player but it shouldn't be the only thing you learn as a player and you shouldn't really in my opinion let that completely and totally define the way that you that you play right um because what what ends up happening is if you're always playing at the at the razor's edge if you're always like truly limit testing then you're gonna end up doing some things that aren't really like aren't learning in the long run because there's only there's only so much you can learn by throwing yourself at the wall like that right and it is very very valuable and i do recommend players to do that just not all the time right there's a time and place for it in my opinion um but that being said, uh, a lot of the best laners in the world, you know, your fakers, your chovies, uh, showmakers, knights, people like that, um, especially a lot of top laners too, they they are able to play both ways. Like, you have to be able to... Oh, okay, decent decent uh, poke for poke by Hagram in Italy. Uh, you have to be able to do both, I think. Like, you have to know when you can really pressure and be aggressive and you have to know when you can be stable and a lot of that revolves around jungle as well but just like also knowing like matchups and things like that it's 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 you have to do both right you can't just only play one way you will learn a lot very quickly by limit testing all the time but it's not like it's it's hard because whenever you hit your skill ceiling it's not going to help you right and then all of a sudden you have to change up your play style and it becomes a little bit more difficult all right, here's Zekrom in the mid lane. We have Ghost Predator up. He is he is holding his ultimate here. The Yasuo tried to duck back to get his um to get his E after Singe fling, but we held it. That was smart. Poison and auto to burn him down. Love to see it. Hecarim to the Xerathar. Ooh, happy feet. Let's go. Here's Nidalee. Good dodge on the spear. And he backs out. Very nice. That was well played to both of them, actually. The 1 HP Hecarim gets his cannon as well. This Doran shield is honestly kind of putting in work for him here. Like, he, is, he has been laning for so long. How much gold has he accumulated? He has a thousand gold in his bag right now. That's like, 
Especially for mid lane, that's a lot more than you're used to having in a large part of, part of most games, right? Um, I don't think that our friend here has... He, I don't think he's quite hopped on my Rod of Ages hype train. I think, personally, in my opinion, best mythic for Singed right now. Um, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be slowly, uh, fully adopted. Uh, especially in mid lane where you're focused more on snowballing as opposed to scaling. But it's okay. It's all good. Um, I still think it's the best mythic on Singed, but even in mid lane. <laughs> that being said, um, U.GG actually does recommend Roa now as far as I'm aware on Singe, which is like, I'll take it as like a personal accomplishment because I've been shilling for the item very hard this month. Um, and last month as well, I think it is just the best Singe Mythic currently, and I think it just makes a lot of sense on him. Um, yes, you delay your damage a bit, but you spike way harder, and your and your, your 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 curve in general, like your curve throughout the game is just a lot more stable in my opinion with Roa. Uh, he's sweeping for wards here, runs into Olaf, this is a rough spot for Singe to be in. Uh, especially going where the wall pops his, pops his ultimate, runs away from the Olaf, but not a whole lot we can do when there's an angry Olaf chasing you down except flash away. Oh, and they turn and kill. That Olaf got very, very greedy for that. Uh, it always helps to have teammates around in bad situations like that. So I guess the fact that he knew the Hecarim was somewhat nearby is okay. Um, they did get Herald off of that play too. And then we're going to grab a Rylai's first. Not sure if I... Actually, yeah, Rylai's first is quite good here. Um, because you have slows for Nidalee and, uh, Nidalee when she jump, Nidalee and Yasuo, sorry, when they jump in. And if you somehow get on the back line, you can, you can slow them down too. Uh, speaking of slowing, I accidentally hit the, uh, minus button, sorry. It is, it is a pretty solid item here. They don't really have a front line besides Olaf, so, yeah, in a game like this, I'd usually go Rylai's first, uh, as well. Except I'm going Roa first every game, like I said before, but that's okay. Um, yeah, overall, a very solid game by Mr., uh, uh, fake Dam1 Ghost here. Obviously, I don't think it's actually uh, Ghost from Dam One, but yeah, because he his name is also spelled a bit differently, it's two S's. But um, also, Ghost is an AD carry player. Um, this Ghost is playing Singed mid, <laughs> the seventy four percent win rate. <laughs> All right, here's the bot lane realm. Uh, he is spotted over the scuttle, but Predator is up. He's saving his. Uh, he doesn't have R actually. All right, good W, solid W. Another KP for him. Once you get that. Uh, Eyeball collection to 10 out of 10. You get 10, 20 AP plus 10, so 30 AP total. Always nice to have it. Cheap shot with a great rally synergy. Love it. Cheap shot is great on Sand in general because when people on your W, they take bonus damage from Cheap Shot. When they're flung, they take bonus damage from Cheap Shot. And obviously, when you get your Rylize, they're permanently Cheap Shot, which is awesome. Cheap Shot off cooldown. Yeah, the Water Walking Relentless, uh, honestly putting a lot of work for him here. He's able to just, and this is one of the things I love about Relentless, is that he just has so much map movement, right? Uh, one big weird thing, actually, I, and, and there's no way to avoid seeing this. Um, I didn't watch the game beforehand, but uh, the way that stats sites work and the way that replay sites work is, like, they're going to see the items that they have. He ends up buying a Dead Man's Plate at some point this game. Um... So he's going Kindle Gem second, so he's probably going to go Radiant Virtue this game. Uh, he did, if I remember correctly, but the thing that jumped out to me was he actually went DMP this game. And DMP is not, like, considered among high low Singe players to be a very good item. I, I think it has its place, like, in terms of when you're laning versus a very hard physical damage matchup. Um, and you get it early, I think it's quite, it can be quite good. But he actually goes DMP kind of late into this game. Um... And DMP together with Relentless Hunter is actually quite good. I don't know how good it is by itself, but again, with the Sweeper and River, very good, very good Sweeper usage here. Uh, one thing, again, to be worried about is that next patch Sweeper is getting a slight change. It's going to have a much shorter duration, but a two-charge system, so overall a net nerf, I think. Um, all right, yeah, uh, Hecarim in mid, tries to poke the Yasuo a bit, gets his slow shield, but he gets that back, so whatever. Um... Mr. Singe is going to push the wave? No, he's going to look for the roam here with Predator. All right, they see Yasuo uh, on this ward right here. But he goes back towards mid, no problem. All good. Uh, his team is slightly, very slightly ahead in gold right now. They're ahead about 500, so 400. So, yeah, just about two kills worth of gold. Everyone seems to be doing pretty okay. And this is, a, this is a point in the game before Yasuo finishes Shield Bow that it's very hard for him to fight a Rally Singed. After Shield Bow, it's a little bit different where the Yasuo can use his Flow Shield and the Shield Bow, and then his ultimate to recharge the Flow Shield to block like a ton of damage. Um, oh, Hecarim's behind. He's got the uh, the pick on Xerath. Xerath flashes out. Singed with the, with the ults, holding the Ghost. They get Nidalee. Good fling, solid. He's holding the cooldowns, which I think is smart, because now he can use it to tower dive. Are they going to tower dive it? Poppy's here. She wants to go. Good W. 
There's the fling for the Zerath. Very nice. Honestly, good gank. Poppy survived too. They lose mid tier one, but top tier one was already taken, so. That is totally okay. I think it was solid overall. He gets his um eyeball collection fully stacked up, so there's an additional 10 uh, AP from fully stacking it, so uh, 10 or 20 from the uh, stacks, and then a bonus 10 at the end. Very good. Yep, he is building towards that Radiant Virtue second. I was assuming he built it third, but he's actually going at second, so that's this is a very, like, very supportive, safe lane, ganking frontline type of singe, where you're not really worried about solo carrying. This build is, this build and playstyle is more worried about, like, getting, uh, stalling the recall with the W. Oh, yeah, somebody read the patch notes. Love it. Um, <laughs> he, he's more worried about the way he wants to help his team, I think. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a good playstyle. There's like, again on Singe you have to you have to kind of do everything. Uh, Bloodcrank is getting caught a bit here. Singed holds uh, everything because you can't really fling a ulted Olaf. We are backing off a bit. He's getting chain slowed. Good dodge on the on the Q there on the axe, but his ult was down. So this is one of the downsides of uh, Relentless Hunter is he would have normally had ult back up there, but. Uh, the positive is that you're just a fast, speedy boy. So he's looking right now. Predator is up. He's trying to scare them a bit because he doesn't need to actually move. They see him in there, though. Like, they know where he is. Okay, good flash. He's holding his fling. This is very smart. He's looking for the Nidalee. Nidalee's in. She jumps out. All right, flash out by the Singe. Yasuo greets for him. Dies immediately. Zerath, happy feet. Oh, love to see it. He wanted to go for that creep wave in the back there, but he didn't. I saw him because he would have been in tower range, and normally you would, but on 100 HP, not not a very wise decision. I, I saw what he was thinking there. I mean, sometimes you can just tell what a, what a player is thinking through a replay, right? All right, does he sell the Doran shield? No, he's keeping it, so he's just building straight into, uh, into that Radiant Virtues and keep that, that Doran shield. But yeah, it's, it's a fine way to play Singed, uh, more supportive. Uh, obviously, it's fine. He's 75% win rate in Masters Korea, so it's working. Um, I have been uh, going more towards like the AP Heavy builds. Uh, also, one more thing about the the Radiant Virtue setup is that uh, Radiant Virtue is getting a cost reduction next patch from 3.2 3 down to 2.7 K gold. Uh, the only thing is, it's going to be an individually weaker item. So he's he's messing around with Yasuo here. Yasuo has a shield bow. He's eating some Qs. But he wants to hold the wave here against Yasuo. So this is the point of the game where the uh, bot laners will rotate. Yasuo is really putting some poke down here. He's got to be careful. Because that Yasuo can and will all in if you are not careful. Um, but that being said, the Yasuo is just annoying on shield bow spike. Yeah, Radiant Virtue is going to get that, that cost reduction. Um, as well as that stat reduction overall. So I think the health that you got on the item is going down from 400 to 350. Um, and then I think the mythic passive bonus is going down from 100 down to 75. And I honestly think, uh, also, also the max health bonus you get is going down from 15 to 12%, I believe. So you're healing over, this is overall way less health on the item, effective HP on the item. It is definitely a bit of a nerf in terms of effectiveness, but a buff in terms of cost, uh, balancing it to be more of a support mythic. That being said, though, uh... It probably would get nerfed again at that cost, in my opinion. It's it's hard to say. I I'm just I'm just such a big believer right now um, in Rod of Ages. Like it gives you 600 HP fully stacked, 100 AP. Uh, that little bit of movement speed whenever you get focused down is so useful to keep Singe slippery, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I think honestly, with with the way that this is going, it will probably be a net nerf on Radiant Bridge in terms of effectiveness, but it'll, it'll be a faster spike for sure. Uh, Rally's inner Virtue will be quite good. So his team is fighting in mid. We are rotating back up towards it. He's at Predator running here. Virtue is alive and well. He turns around to get the Predator off of them because whenever you're getting run on or run towards by a Predator person, uh, <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, whenever you're getting so a person who has activated their Predator, when the Predator is running towards you, you get a little wolf above your head. Uh, and it makes a sound. Um, so I think he's turning around to like kind of mitigate that, but no real reason. They just uh, they just backed off the fight there, so all good. My Mister Ghost here. Yeah, so recalling. He stops the recall once more. He's timing it for the very end of the back, which is good. <laughs> just trying to be annoying towards Yasuo. Does Yasuo even have enough gold to back here? Yasuo has 540 gold, so I don't think he really has any. Solid reason to back. Maybe he wants to get another crit cloak, but I don't know why he would back there. 
He doesn't teleport, maybe he wants to reset for TP. His team is fighting in mid, Sandy's just being annoying. We got these two over here, Poppy gets stun locked a little bit. Nope, she's out. Mr. Singe is clearing the wave. He's not taking damage that much from the wave because he does have that Doran Shield and Tabby's combo, which will be a lot of effective health against minions, especially. All right, looking past the Yasuo to farm this wave. Pretty sure he knows the Yasuo's in there. He backs off whenever Yasuo shows. You really don't want to. You don't want to fight him like directly if you can avoid it. Okay, good fling on the Yasuo. I feel like if this Yasuo was a bit more aggressive, he could kill him. This Yasuo seems a bit passive. But that is totally okay. We're going to recall now. What are we buying? Blasting one again. Okay, very nice. So yeah, he's going for the demonic here most likely if I had to guess. Um, just a solid third item. Nothing really wrong with it. I think at five at five kills, I would have probably gone demonic second or demonic first even. Um, but Rally's first on it, like, like we said before, very good. Nothing bad about it. I'm just shocked that he hasn't sold the Doran Shield yet. Like, I, I get why you'd want to save it. Like, if you don't feel the need, you have to get rid of it. But at a certain point, maybe it's better to have the Ruby Crystal instead of a Doran Shield. Hard to say. Uh, that passive, that regen passive is quite good here. And just in general. Because with Singe, you are running through creep waves to farm them. So you always take a little bit of damage. You're never truly full HP. Good dodge on the Xerath E. Gets pulled back, saving his fling for the last hit. And the Blitzcrank actually donates the kill. Man, my NA Blitzcranks never do that. They just take it. I'm sorry about that. My hand moved. Right, they clear the wards. The Lucian's over there. The 1 in 3 Lucian, probably not a huge threat to Mr. Mr. Damwon Ghost here. Yeah, he, has a, he has a 900 gold shutdown currently. Use the W to cut him off and then put poison down. Flash on him. Wait, that was a really that was really well done. Actually, look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Okay, let me highlight this. So he puts W down to to block one escape route. Hold on, watch. Okay. So W down to block this escape route. Hecarim's coming in from the left. So Lucian doesn't want to run that way either. What direction is left for Lucian to run? He doesn't want to run through the goo. He doesn't want to run through Hecarim. He wants to run through this corridor here. There's poison in the corridor already. He he he, he kind of cut him off. So Lucian wants to go through this little tiny spot right here. We all know where Lucian's going to go. He flashes directly through it, messes up anyways, and gets hit by this, the poison. Getting hit by poison means you're slowed by Rylai's. Then you already used your flash and your dash, so you just get flash flung by the Singed, and oh, you're dead now. Poppy having some problems with Olaf. I think if he ults, he could just kill her, but... Oh, wait, he flashed. He can't kill her anymore. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Olaf is balanced. Here comes Singed, and he's dead. Nice. So, Mr. Singed, did he pop his Predator for this? He does not have it. I think he just walks up and flings him, yeah. Like a true Giga Chad. Let me just slowly walk up to you and down smash. Alright, let's see. They're going to do Baron here. I believe that's totally viable here. His Singed ult is up, so he has Radiant Virtue as well if they get engaged on. Doesn't even need to use it. I'm going to go farm this wave up top here. He, I think he's going to try and finish his gold for Demonic here. He has 1.7k, 1.8k almost after that. So he should have enough for Demonic, I believe. Giant Spelt plus Recipe cost. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And he actually, interestingly enough, he buys a one single health potion. Yeah, he never bought a refill potion this game. Interesting. Just stalled it on the Duran Shield the entire time. I don't. Why not just get a pink word though? Like, like that's my question. I don't. I don't even mind the health potion. I understand why you need it on Singe because you just take damage when you're in waves. But like. Pink ward though, you know? Like, isn't that just more useful than 150? Was it 150 or 120 HP on that? He already used it. Rewind just a second. 120 health, yeah, it's, it's like lower than it used to be because they nerfed it during durability patch, I remember. Because potions were providing, as they say, so much more effective HP, but whatever, just Riot Games being Riot Games. Alright, we're looking at the flank here. Pops his Radiant Virtue early with the ultimate. I feel like he could have caught the Nidalee there. But he doesn't want to overdive. 
This is one thing I'm noticing a lot about his playstyle. And obviously, again, I'm not saying his playstyle is bad. It's very conservative, though. And it's working, again, because he's 75% win rate on Singed Mid in Korea in Master, almost Grandmaster tier. So obviously, it's working. It's just very conservative. Like, I, if it was me, let me just go back and highlight this. Like, if this was me, I am, I'm running to their fountain. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if this is me, you, and, and I popped everything and Nidalee is within arm's reach of me with no flash. Like, I'm, I'm going for the fountain here. Like, I, I'm going, you know, this is, this is a catchable Nidalee. Um, because Zerath dies and then Kaisa can just focus her down real quick. I feel like not going for her is kind of a troll here. Because then Hecarim gets caught inside and then we have to try and get him out and then we all lose HP and then Blitz tries to walk up and do something and then Blitz dies. It's just, yeah, like a small thing like that can kind of can kind of change a lot, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. I just, I'm a really big fan of just running through the team and being fast. Like I feel like it's part of the champion fantasy, it's part of part of my fantasy as well. Actually, I just like I, I just like doing that. Um, it's a big dopamine rush, you know. Or is it serotonin? I don't know. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, conservative play is not like inherently a bad thing either. In my opinion, though, if, if he did that right then, they could have maybe even ended the game. Like, if, if Nidalee dies there, right? Like, it's a possible game ender. Uh, I don't mind that he didn't end the game. More content for me to farm, but... Uh, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Also, this is this part that's interesting. He went he went um, chain vest over winged moonplate here. It's so, like in my opinion, at this point in the game, I'd go winged moonplate because you're almost level 16 singed. You have that five percent movement speed buff from winged moonplate, and then that is going to be paired with your uh, 100 uh, ms on your ultimate and your celerity boost that, and your relentless hunter boost that when you're out of combat, and your um, water walking boost that even if you're in combat. Right? It's like. I feel like that'd be so useful here, and you already have armor from your Tabby and your Radiant Virtue. Uh, that's what I would do, but this is still this is still fine. Uh, I like the Predator combined with the with the. Uh, oh, we lost Predator there on the Olaf, but why Olaf doesn't immediately ult there is kind of weird. But he's out, I guess. He's holding it for the fling. Um, I like the Predator with the Sweeper because you're sweeping wards as you come in, so like they know you're coming in, but they can't exactly see you. Bit of a mind game. If they're paying close attention, they will see you. Good W on Lucian. W fling into Blitzcrank Hook, and it is a kill. But yeah, like, like if, if the enemy team is is paying very close attention, they will know what direction you're coming from because they'll be like, oh, these wards are disabled. He's right there. The people in the heat of the moment, when a fight's about to break out, a lot of time they don't think about that, right? Oh, we're looking to go for a bit of uh, tower damage here. He's eating Nidalee Spears and Xerath Qs, so definitely time to back off. Oh, brutal. You gotta be so careful with Singed. Like, the people always, I think, grossly... People who don't play Singed, like his teammates here, they grossly overestimated their ability to take those towers. Um, in my opinion. Especially like a hybrid tank slash AP Singed, your tower taking ability is very low. If you're like full, full AP, like Turbo Chad Singed, yeah, you can you can take towers and you can deal some damage pretty quickly, especially the Nexus towers, right? Because they're the squishiest. But when you're when you're hybrid tank singed or or tank heavy singed, and you're not building full glass cannon damage, um, it's not truly glass cannon because you're ultimate. But you're not building full damage, then your tower damage is a lot lower. Like I think they're used to t uh, bruisers who can who can just nuke those towers very quickly. But sometimes when you're playing this style of singe, it's that's not. You can't do that, right? So <laughs> it can be a big bait to overextend and overstay. Uh, man's got his winged moon plate now. He will be super fast uh, with his relentless hunter and his nimbus. Not nimbus, sorry, his celerity water walking. Out of combat, currently 457 movement speed. The movement speed that he has right now is actually higher than if he would have had a dead man's plate without having relentless hunter, which is kind of nuts. So just winged moon plate plus the the. Uh, Relentless is faster than if he had no Relentless and full dead man. So you definitely see some of the some of the value in this whenever you're able to just rotate around the map very quickly after you finish DMP. There is a lot of value in that. Looking for the looking for the fight here. See if they can pick someone off. Uh, they are jumping over a ward here. He's gonna clear it to his sweeper. Get poked down a bit, but the, ooh, that is actually some brutal poke. Why does why does uh, Zerath do that much damage as a support? That's okay. It doesn't matter. First strike is a very balanced rune, I think. I love the Chemtech Rift. Gets a little bit of healing there. It is so much fun. It's a little bit of a shield, too. Hoppy's walking up, looking for some trouble. 
I like that he's not at the forefront. He needs to be in the back, and the reason why you need to be in the back here is you, if you if a fight does start, you want to drift through your team to get as much movement speed going into the fight as possible. That is a very smart like pre-use of his passive that a lot of Singe players actually don't do. It's something that over the course of enough games, you kind of subconsciously pick up on it to be like always near the back end of your team instead of a traditional frontliner where you're at the front. Uh, flank on the Olaf here, you get his... He's not ulting because you have the Olaf's ult here, so just uh, flank for ult. Great trade. Um, it's something that you pick up on as Singed after a long time of playing him, or at least you should, but if you didn't and you watch this, well, now you know. That's why a lot of Singed players stay towards the back. We are running towards the front here because he wants to get a fling, can't find it, but the Blitz hook is big, not going in too hard because he's only going to focus down with Lucian. Just using his Verger to keep his team healed up here. Waiting for, he, so he's waiting very much for a fling that will for sure be effective. That one actually kind of ended up being a little bit grief because maybe we waited a bit too long and then the enemy team kind of played through the fight. I, I, again, I'm not I'm not saying that the playstyle is bad. Obviously, it's not bad. Just a little conservative for my taste. I, I I like I like aggression. I like I like going hard in the paint, but that is just me. Uh, because I feel like the fight could have been won if we just went a bit harder there. But that's okay. I mean, he's still he's still like approaching six items. Um, he is a bit tank heavy for my taste, but it's good. Like it's definitely not bad. Like I said, the win rate speaks for itself, and the man has a very 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 high, very high win rate. So that's good. Like anything above like sixty percent win rate on a champion like Singed, where you're not like a one v nine champion, um, you're a very like team fight oriented champion is quite high in my opinion. Alright, so he backed for double pink ward and he's a sleeper as well, so a lot of vision control coming in for this uh, end game to secure objectives and whatnot, very important. Sweeps the jungle. Again, sweeper is going to get a slight nerf next patch, which I think it definitely needs in my opinion, so that's good. Sweeper being the way that it is right now kind of makes the game as snowbally as it is because the team who's behind can never, can never secure vision. If the enemy team has one, two, or three, sometimes five sweepers, right? You cannot get vision because it just lasts so long. It covers such a wide area. Team's fighting over there with Puppet Predator. Nidalee is just going to go down instantly. You need to rewind just a second. Sorry about that. It went way too fast. Uh, okay, he sees it, pops his Predator. We know that other people are still in the area. He's running and running and running. As long as he's Predator, he's going to run. W is down for the Xerath. Xerath can't walk down, but Xerath is too slow to walk left, so he gets caught as well. Very nice. Um, you know, like I was saying, current sweeper is just so it, it's so snowbally because the team who's behind can never get any vision. Um, it just lasts so long, the area of effect is so wide, and the cooldown is so low. Um, so next patch, they are making it be a smaller, shorter charge system based ability, which I think is a lot more fair. To be honest, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of just how snow, snowball it is currently. Like a, a jungler can literally like come top lane when you're laning, sweep your ward. And then you will play as safe as possible until your next ward is available. You put it down, and they'll be ready to sweep it again. It sucks, man. Uh, that's okay, though. It's a bit of an unrelated rant. So we are going for the bottom wave while your team is going for dragon because there is no risk of a steal with Nidalee dead. Um, yeah, totally fine. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, I didn't highlight his movement speed with Wing and Moonplate, or sorry, with Deadman's Plate. Um, a bit of MR here, probably going to look for a magic resistance item for the uh, Xerath Nidalee. But his movement speed out of combat, without home guards, is 487, almost perma 500 movement speed on the Singed Boy here. I'm surprised he's just not going for another Moonplate if he wants to get Force of Nature and be even faster. Alright, Blitzing a little bit of combat here. Uh, Olaf gets hooked. Not focusing on the Olaf, he's running straight for the back line. That's what I like to see. He's in there. Spreading his poison like this is the fight that I love right here. This is this is good. This is this is a very aggressive singe. Let's like to see. All right, let's highlight it real quick. So fight breaks out as Blitzcrank is getting caught. Blitz hooks the Olaf back. He's not going to stop and focus the Olaf because there's really not a whole lot singe can do with his dot. Olaf just kind of heals through all of it when he's ulted. So instead, we're going to run towards the back line with Predator and Ghost up. Runs through the Yasuo, flings the Xerath, recognizes the threat. Poisons onto Lucian, runs away, doesn't try and hold himself there. And then when Lucian overextends, flings him again. Then he goes away, or he flashes away whenever he's low. 
No triumph resets for you, and it's a clean fight. It's a good fight. All right. Let's see what his value from his Radiant Virtue is. I'm just curious. So Radiant Virtue, uh, 1,671 self-healing, 2375 ally healing. It's going to be lower next patch, quite a bit lower. But it will also be cheaper, so something to bear in mind. Um, I'm still going to simp for Rod of Ages Singe. That's me. But Mr. Mr. Ghost here, Mr. Fake Damwon Ghost, is popping off in KR Solo Q with his 74 point whatever percent win rate Singe. I'll put an image on the screen for you guys to check it out, but... That being said, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, I will catch you in the next one.